is going on everybody? Landon here, and if you want to become an EKG technician, enrolling in the right training program is the most important step. You spend time and money on your education, and it is important that you choose the right training that prepares you for a career as an EKG tech. Now, before you make the final call on your EKG tech training program, watch this video because today I will be talking about the top five red flags to look for in an EKG tech training program. If you are new here, you are watching Certified Success. And on this channel, we share tips and tricks for busy adults to start their dream careers faster without student debt or spending years in the classroom. Now, how about we talk about those red flags? Red flag number one you're not prepared to be certified. If you want to command respect as an entry-level EKG tech, you need to hold the CET certification issued by the NHA. To get certified, you need to clear the CET exam conducted by the NHA. And once you do that, you are a certified EKG technician or a CET. Sometimes programs that are too short, like a four-week program, fail to prepare you for this certification. Now, as I said earlier, having this certification is the key if you want to stand out as an entry-level EKG tech. Now, because of this, students are forced to self-study and spend time and money to prepare for their certification exam. If you don't wanna do that, like me, ensure that the program you're enrolling in prepares you for the NHA's CET certification. Now, before I talk about the other red flags, if you're serious about starting your career and want to enroll in an EKG program that can help you be job ready in the next three months, yes, I said three months, then check out our free EKG Tech Masterclass. In the masterclass, Grant Aldridge, who is a respected higher education expert, gives you a step-by-step -step blueprint on how to become an EKG technician in the next three to four months without the burden of student debt or having to drive to classes because those gas prices are whew. Grant gives you a roadmap on how to get a university certificate for your EKG tech training, but without the big expensive price tag that's usually associated with college programs. Not just that, you'll also learn about a training program that prepares you for the NHA CET certification, is in partnership with an accredited university, and helps you get real life clinical experience even before you start working as an EKG tech. I mean, this program literally checks all of the boxes and guess what? It is insanely affordable. If you're serious about starting your EKG tech career, then you cannot miss our free EKG tech masterclass. To get access to our free EKG tech masterclass, click the link below in the comments or go to startekgtech.com. All right, moving on. Red flag number two, your training is through an unaccredited source. Look, look, you seriously do not want this. It's healthcare. An accredited education is often the key requirement. For EKG techs, the story remains the same. And that is why we recommend you verify that the program you are about to enroll in is through an accredited source. Let's just say you walk into an interview and then find out that your formal EKG tech training is from an unaccredited place. That could potentially derail your chance of landing that job. You don't want that. Red flag number three, the program is too cheap. Now, I know what you're thinking. If your EKG tech is cheap, that is a good thing, right? Well, not always. Sometimes students are tempted by local or weekend classes that cost anywhere between $500 to $1,000. They'll claim that their training program prepares you for the EKG tech career, but their training material is often outdated or isn't that thorough. Now, as an EKG tech, you need to know about different topics like interpreting 12 lead EKG strips, principles of cardiac conduction, common cardiac medications, understanding of basic cardiac anatomy, and much, much more. And these subpar local classes sometimes fail to educate you on topics you need to know as an EKG tech, and you don't want that. Red flag number four, your EKG tech training puts you in student debt. The super expensive full-time college programs are at the opposite end of cheap local programs. Programs that can cost up to $15,000. 
Now, typically, these are full-time programs at a university or certificate program at a college. Now, look, there is nothing wrong with these programs, but the big price tag can be a deal breaker for many. Now, look, I don't know about you, but 15 grand is a big amount of money to spend on your EKG tech education. And to afford a price tag like that, whew, student loans are probably your go-to. That means that you are under a pile of student debt even before you start your career. Look, ultimately, your education needs to be affordable. Red flag number five, you don't get any hands-on experience. An average EKG technician conducts 13 EKGs a day, 13. Now, when you are starting out your career, will you feel confident if you have never practiced conducting EKGs before? Now, a good training program will help you arrange hands-on experience for you so that you can practice conducting EKGs on patients. And look, I know searching for an ideal EKG tech program can prove to be a big headache. Now, if you want to avoid that and start your dream career faster, then once again, I recommend checking out our EKG Technician Masterclass. In the Masterclass, Grant Aldridge breaks down the different options you have for your EKG tech training and how you can start your career without spending big on your job training and be job ready in the next two to three months. To get access to our free EKG Tech Masterclass, click the link below in the comments or go to startekgtech.com. Well, that is all we have for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you liked it, hope you enjoyed it, and make sure you hit that like button. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps us to continue to produce content like this. So until next time, this was Landon signing off. Take care.